Russell Wilson has been traded. Okay, not yet. Russell Wilson, uh, last season, let it be known that he was unhappy with the Seattle Seahawks uh, organization. And after a very difficult year in which he suffered injury and another disappointing year and uh, confrontation with Pete Carroll, uh, while they seemed to make up for it and sing Kumbaya towards the very end of the season, he made some comments about how it might be his last home game there in Seattle. And so I expect that Russell Wilson uh, trade fervor to heat up quite quickly as soon as this uh, NFL season is over and the playoffs conclude. Uh, teams that are going to be in the mix, uh, New Orleans Saints we've already covered, and today we'll cover the Cleveland Browns. Cleveland had a very difficult year. They were expected to be possibly a 1-2-3 seed in the AFC. And after Baker Mayfield's poor performance for most of the season, having dealt with injuries uh, on multiple areas of this team, uh, the defense having lots of weapons, uh, the Odo Beckham Jr. saga, uh, this team just needs to turn the page. Uh, they need some professionalism at that quarterback position. And whether or not you believe Baker Mayfield is a starting quarterback in the NFL or not, He's no Russell Wilson, and he never will be at this point. Getting a proven starter with as much youth as Russell Wilson still has on his side right now would be quite a move for the Cleveland Browns. I know they've had difficulty getting a decent quarterback in there for decades, but they can take that next step forward as an organization and get an elite-level quarterback, when he's right, in Russell Wilson. Now, the weapons on this team aren't as great as they were last year. They had difficulty getting the ball to Odell Beckham Jr. They didn't know really how to use their weapons that they had, so they ended up just getting rid of him and getting rid of the headache, uh, kind of an addition by subtraction kind of thing for them. But you're losing a number one talented wide receiver, and because your quarterback couldn't figure out how to get him the ball, you ended up losing all of that talent. Now, Russell Wilson is not Baker Mayfield. He knows how to get the ball to the outside, and while every now and again he might have a receiver unhappy, like DK Metcalf, it's mainly because he can't get him the ball because that offensive line was unable to protect him. With the Cleveland Browns, they have an excellent offensive line. Look at Nick Chubb and the season he just had running that football. With, uh, with Baker Mayfield, they were still unable to, uh, to get any consistency out of that quarterback position, and Russell Wilson is the modicum of, uh, of consistency whenever he is protected. With uh, Russell Wilson coming in and using those weapons uh, to their full capability, unlike Baker Mayfield, uh, this offense should really start moving. Nick Chubb is still going to be there. I expect running game to be much better. Russell Wilson has had a decent running game in Seattle, but the one year he had an excellent running game, they won the Super Bowl. Now, as far as the defensive side of the ball, they have heck of a pass rush in Cleveland. Uh, while it's been inconsistent due to injury this year, uh, it still looks to be very successful going forward. Uh, the defense in Seattle was not nearly what it used to be. There is no Legion of Boom there anymore. Uh, they got a $20 million middle linebacker who's aging. And they're just in kind of a roster turnover portion of their, of their uh, phase as a franchise. The Cleveland Browns are ready to win now. And before they have to get to that point of turning over their roster in the next few years, they need a co uh, quarterback to come in there and really take them as, to as far as they possibly can go. And so Baker Mayfield, while you're a decent quarterback, it's time for them to get a real quarterback, a real elite level quarterback when he's right in there. And this team could really take that next step. What does Russell Wilson bring to the Cleveland Browns? Well, he brings an experienced, steady hand at the quarterback position, less media circus as far as, you know, comments and chippiness with the media. Now, Russell Wilson is also quite the philanthropist, uh, philanthropist so as far as like off the field, Russell Wilson is everything the, uh, the uh, Cleveland Browns need uh, as far as like a leader for this organization. On the field, uh, what is he going to bring? Uh, he brings elusiveness at that quarterback position, much like Baker Mayfield. However, the decision-making is going to be much improved. He also knows how to use weapons when he has them. Now, what would it take for Russell Wilson to be traded to Cleveland? I don't think it's going to be nearly as much as everybody thinks. He's coming off an injury year. He's coming off a down year. And people are wondering, does he really have enough left into the tank? Or are we looking at possibly a Michael Vick, whereas towards the end of his career, while he was still mobile and effective, he wasn't Mike Vick from the Atlanta Falcons days 
uh, just juking everybody, making every play, being the MVP of the NFL. I don't see that in the future for Russell Wilson. However, I do still see elite quarterback play, solid decision making, something Baker Mayfield has always continued to struggle with and has not improved since he took into or since he came into the NFL. Uh, but that's kind of what you're looking for. The trade itself, uh, we're looking at possibly a first round pick, maybe a little bit extra, a couple of thirds thrown in there just to see how to really get some value out of them. And for those people who are saying, well, they gave up two firsts for Jamal Adams, that wasn't a good trade. That wasn't something that made your organization successful. And Jamal Adams, as talented as he is, is not a quarterback. And they still ended up giving away two first round picks. I'm sorry, the Cowboys are the only ones who have made terrible decisions with multiple firsts like that. Looking back at like the Joey Gallo trade or Galloway trade and the uh, uh, trade for uh, Roy Williams as well from the Detroit Lions. I have not seen that level of incompetence from a GM uh, going after a skill position player or a position of not significant need uh, in a long time. Uh, now, the Bears did give up a, a couple of firsts for Khalil Mack. And while he is an excellent player, it's one of the top three positions on the field. And he was one of the best at that time. Russell Wilson is not one of the best at this time because he is coming off a down year and because he is coming off injury, which is why the price is going to be less than Jamal Adams. Come at me in the comment section. Let me know why I'm wrong, but it's not going to happen. Seattle, you're not getting multiple firsts for Russell Wilson. And while you're stuck with a $20 million uh, uh, middle linebacker, it still doesn't mean that you're going to get more just because you pay more for Bobby Wagner and he's excellent. I'm sorry. I've seen it multiple times in the comment section on some of my other videos. Russell Wilson is not going for multiple first round picks. Now, if I'm the Cleveland Browns, I jump all over this, knowing that it's not going to cost me multiple firsts. I'd be willing to give up other assets, uh, talent on the field, uh, lower level draft picks, uh, maybe get including like two or three extra picks just to kind of push it over the top if there's other teams in the mix really vying for them. But a first, a couple of thirds, maybe some extra uh, loose change in there, but I believe gets this trade done. Uh, Seattle gets to turn the page. They say goodbye to a franchise icon uh, that amicably before this thing gets really bitter and uh, Russell Wilson gets to find that next step in his career. The trade itself uh, for the Browns, while it might be costly as far as like uh, lower level draft picks, it doesn't cost them the big, uh, big level pick and allows them to keep some of that trade value, some of that pick value uh, on their roster and allow them to continue to keep success uh, while Russell Wilson is there. Their title window is closing with getting Russell Wilson. This opens it up for at least two, three, four years, depending on how successful he is. And if he recaptures his talent that he had, uh, the success that he had early on in Seattle, we're talking about a six to seven year title window, whereas other quarterbacks on the market like Aaron Rodgers, you're looking at a two to three year title window. So what Russell Wilson could very well be the perfect quarterback for the Cleveland Browns. Subscribe and like this video. Let me know in the comments section what you think about the possibility of Russell Wilson uh, joining the Cleveland Browns. Whether or not you think Baker Mayfield is a good quarterback for them or not, let me know what you really think about Russell Wilson. I'm curious to see if you think he would be a fit there. Uh, I think the uh, elite uh, ability to evade the pass rush, something that he's proven in every season he's had uh, in the NFL, is very much like Baker. I just see the decision-making being that much better with Russell Wilson, and that's why a trade uh, for a first-round pick, a couple of thirds, maybe you send back Baker the other way as the other piece, uh, to kind of get let the trade go through. But uh, I see this as a win for the Cleveland Browns, possibly even the Seattle Seahawks, but this organization needs a complete teardown uh, for the Seahawks. you got three other teams in the division that are better than you. You need to get young and talented and fast, and this is one way to do it. And finally, where does this trade for Russell Wilson leave the Cleveland Browns? I believe they're going to be one of the top three, four, five teams in the AFC for at least the next three or four years. The talent on that roster is that good. Uh, getting a better decision maker than Baker Mayfield at that quarterback position is invaluable. Uh, turnovers go down, performance goes up, weapons get utilized better, defense is on the field less and is more effective. Uh, we're talking about a very successful team uh, with Russell Wilson at the helm. Uh, so again, top three, four, five team, Super Bowl contender and legitimate Super Bowl contender, and uh, Baker Mayfield is no longer there to drag down those Super Bowl chances as far as like decision-making and things like that. Now, if you're a Baker Mayfield fan, I understand that you want to stick around with him, uh, see if he can become a Russell Wilson, but Russell Wilson is already there. 
Uh, the acquisition price shouldn't be too exorbitant for them to acquire him. And so this move puts them immediately in Super Bowl contention. And so I expect a team like the Cleveland Browns to look to improve this team uh, going forward. I understand Browns fans have waited a long time for success. Uh, they've tried drafting success at that quarterback position year after year after year after year. And uh, they finally got one that's at least able to competently play the quarterback position. But decision-making still seems to be the what's holding back this team and Baker Mayfield. And getting a quarterback in there that can provide solid decision-making uh, with Russell Wilson and still provide that same kind of spark that Baker Mayfield provides, I think is going to be invaluable for this team. So uh, let me know in the comments section what you think. And uh, thanks again for joining The Upside.